everyone. Welcome back to Berkshire Farm. My name is Frank. Today, we're going to be working on our, our firebox. And this is a drill, I believe it's a drillet. We did purchase it through Home Depot. And then we also purchased a lot of the chimney online. This is a six inch telescopic length that telescopes from three feet to about five feet. And that's what's on here right now. I don't know if you can see the scene. You can barely see it, but it, it telescopes. I built this pedestal, and I'm, I'm, I apologize. I didn't bring you along with me. I just wasn't thinking, and I, I just wanted to get it done. But I built this pedestal. All it is is two by four, and it's the pressure treated two by four that, that's laying down on the on the concrete. That's pressure treated two by four and three quarter inch plywood. And what I did on the camera, I don't know if you can see these lines here. But basically what I've got is I've got a two before running from the front to the back, right down these lines. And I, I designed it to where these legs set right on top of that, that two by four, because believe it or not, this thing probably weighs, I'm gonna say at least 300, 350 pounds, especially when all of the, the, the fire bricks and everything are all put back in it. It really is heavy. And I wanted that to, to be supported to where it would never break down. But today we're gonna to go ahead, we're gonna get our chimney all lined up, get that square box that goes through the, the sheetrock, goes up through the, the ceiling itself, we're gonna get that all lined up, get it all fastened in, because the next phase of this barn dominium is gonna be sheetrock, which is the, the final stage, as far as the contractor is concerned, that's the final stage, our shell is done, and that's what we purchased is a Barnuminium shell. Our shell is done, and then from that point on, it's up to Jackie and I. So we're gonna get this piece put in here, get everything lined up, and see what it looks like. The purpose for the square box is, you see on the bottom, the chimney runs up through it, and as you can see, there's, there, there's a distance between the chimney itself and the sides of the box, and that just further insulates the heat away from your sheetrock and, and whatever else that you're going through. I'm hoping to take these clamps and clamp that up there to that, that 2 by 8 and hope it'll, it'll strong enough to hold it. How do you permanently fasten it? Huh? How do you permanently fasten it um, to the... I'll permanently fasten this with screws. Shoots two screws on this side and two screws on this side. But it's really close. I can't believe we got it that close. Now it looks to me I gotta go this way just a just a little bit. And what is that that you're putting in? Uh, okay, this here is just it's the piece that transitions into the six inch chimney, which is what we have, is a six inch chimney. Like that. Wow, we are really close. It looks like it's gotta go that way just about a quarter of an inch. And this way is just almost dead on. And in fact it is. That's exactly where that firebox is going to set. Good. Let me move this over just a quarter of an inch. Get it lined up. We've got another three foot, regular three foot piece. I think I'm going to get that three foot piece, set it in here first, and then take the telescope and go right on up into that, the bottom of that uh, box. And then we'll just take a level, level it up where we want it. I'm going to mark both sides of the box and then fasten it in and that's, that's it, we're good. This is just a straight three foot piece of chimney. Put that on here. Like that. Together they might both be too long. Well, that's why that's a telescope and you can shrink it. Yes? Yeah, they're gonna both be too long. So I need to take that thing out. 
Okay. Let's try this again. <clears throat> Wow, that is, just doesn't get any better, easier than that. Oop. Let me put this back on it now, on the top, and this will hold it where it needs to, where it needs to be. <clears throat> yeah, it'll hold it right where it needs to go. It is, it's on there, it's, it's, it's in there. It's in. It's in. <laughs> now I'm just going to get a level. This needs to go this way like that. Okay, it's showing. It needs to go this way. On the bottom, I can get it to go that way. That's pretty darn close though. And this way. got to come that way just a little bit. This is setting. That's level. That'd be fine. Or this, I don't know, maybe even maybe six inches, just about maybe that much. And what is that thing? What is that thing? Mm -hmm. This? Uh -huh. it's, it, this is, this goes inside the box and the pipe goes in, of course, in between all of these. And it's just, it serves as another, it makes a gap around the, the chimney. It serves just as another heat shield what that is. That goes up in the box. So you've got this, the box, plus the pipe itself, reducing the amount of heat in the chimney as it goes up through the, up through the roof. Here goes that one. All right, so we're gonna try and fasten this up there. Okay, you ready? I'm ready, let's do okay, this. Okay, let's try. Let's try to get this thing up here. Okay, that's where it's gonna go. You gonna get a wedge in there? Perfect. You sure? Yeah. You got it? That's where it's going, right there. Right there. That's where I want it, right there. All right. Okay, let's go. Let go. It's staying. That's what we needed. Ha! It worked! <laughs> We're there. Okay. Right on the mark. Yeah. That's level. This way, 
Oh, that's looking pretty good. That's looking good. This way. Yeah, see, this side's got to come down. Like that. two screws on that side. I leveled all across the bottom, leveled everything up as much as I possibly could, shot two screws on this side. So it's mounted, it's in there. And then I took a little piece of stick and I went from this corner to that corner and reached in there and marked it with a pencil towards the middle of it. Then I took the piece of wood and I turned it the other way and marked in the center so that X marks the spot. X is the dead center of where that's going to go right on up through the through the roof. So what we're going to what we'll do next is once I cut the hole in the top of the roof, I'll be able to take this piece, slide it right down. That sets inside that box. This piece, we had it on there before. It comes out of the hole. Then this sets over this on the inside of the box. And then the chimney goes right in here and goes right on up through the center of the box. I know there's a lot of parts and pieces here. This here, this piece actually goes on top of the roof and it's got a metal that goes, it's real soft metal that's, that's made to bend so that it can go up and over all the little, you know, ridges and whatnot that are up there on the top. And then you just seal this to the roof. This is designed, it's, it's rubber so it, it'll go right on around the, the chimney itself, it's what seals the chimney off the top. But all these different parts and pieces, I will, we'll, we'll put a link down below. If you're in the market for something like this, uh, like I said, it's all on Amazon. We'll put a link to it and you can check it out and see if it's, you, you think it might be something that works for you if, if you're in the process of putting your own firebox in. So that's, that's what'll be next, is we're gonna, we, we got done what we needed to get done for the sheetrock to be done in here. Is that's mounted and then once it's all sheetrocked and we're ready to, to continue the installation of our our firebox we'll bring you along when we drill the hole and we put everything together and when we light our first fire so i just want to thank everybody very much for clicking on our channel and joining us today if you would please hit that like button it sure helps us out here on the farm it gets our videos out in front of many more people and by all means Hit that subscribe button. If you're not already a subscriber, we'd love for you to follow us as we build this barn dominium out here in Texas. Until next time, God bless.